and also uh, when we draw the element, I will delete all the beam element. And when we draw the node, uh, we can rotate the node as well. If you go to rotate node option, uh, let's say I want to uh, rotate this node um, with 18 degrees 10 times. And I'll rotate this node um, based on uh, about uh, Z axis. And uh, I'll set up uh, the first point as uh, the original point. Then you rotate node uh, copying uh, the, the first node. So it is useful when you draw when you draw a curved line or the curved shaped structure. We can rotate um, the element as well. Let's say we have we have an uh, element here. I'll go to create and create element again, and I'll rotate uh, this element. In the same way, I'll put I'll copy this ten times and with uh, eighteen degree uh, about the axis, and then it will rotate the element. Okay, and about the um, curved shape, uh, we have another function, another function uh, which is called uh, create line element on curve. So here we have various types, various curve type. I will use the first type. And let's say um, I need uh, eight uh, segment, and then I click on uh, three point like this. Then you drew the element um, having a curved shape. So this is also useful when you draw the curved uh, structure. You can have a look at it. You can uh, play with uh, all this function. As we have undo button, you can um, select any type and try uh, if it doesn't work or if uh, you don't like it, you can undo it and then try again. Okay. Also, uh, I would like to show you also um, extrude function. So it can be from uh, node to line, firstly, Let's say I want to make the beam element along the jet axis um, one meter each, and I need um, five elements. Let's say, then you can click apply, select select the node, and click apply. Then you can have a beam element. Also, you can extrude the beam element to a plate element if you use this line to plan an element of time. Okay, then um, let's say I need to, I want to extrude this beam element along the x axis and one meter each five times, then you extrude. Okay, let me try again. Yeah, there you go. And then also we have last option. If you select a plate element, we can extrude it to solid element as well. Let's extrude this along the y-axis, putting 0.1.0. .0. And five times, then I can create sorry. There you go. So we can uh, create elements uh, using um, this menu after creating the nodes and then you can 
uh, click on the node to create an element, or you can extrude element from the node or beam element or from the plate element. Also, we have also we have a grid function. If you go to um, view menu, you can activate uh, this point grid, and it shows a grid uh, in the mode view. I'll zoom it uh, for you. So here you can find uh, grid here. Then the mouse cursor recognizes the every point in the grid. So without the node, you can also create the element by clicking the point of the grid. So if you go to, uh, if you modify the distance between uh, the, the grid, the size of the grid, you can go to structure menu and then go to grid menu and define point grid. So if you uh, type in a different uh, distance, let's say uh, 2.2 meters along x and y axis, then it shows a uh, different scale of the grid like this. And also, if you go to, if you back to a uh, structure menu and grid option and define point grid, um, you can change the grid again. And also, if you go to a uh, UCS menu, let's say if you go to, if you use uh, XG plane, then the grid uh, will be defined on the uh, XJ a plane. Then we can uh, create the element on the uh, X, G, a plane like this. Okay. And I would like to show you uh, the different function, which is for a plate element. I will undo everything and then I'll go to uh, view menu to turn off the point grid and I will change the, um, the coordinates as global and I'll back to node element menu. Here we have some functions for plate. Firstly, I'll try to use um, auto mesh function. Um, here uh, the method, I'll use node function node type to create uh, the mesh. Um, I can simply uh, select the nodes here. Let's say I'll, I want to create plate elements within this area. Then click the, uh, the corner of the area and then click apply. Then it will automatically uh, generate uh, plate element, considering uh, the, the nodes inside of the area. Um, you can also select a uh, different option. So let's say if you want to create a plate element with only a rectangle shape in the same area. To be cl more clear, I'll delete the node inside. We can use map mesh function and select the corner, and let's say I'll divide this into three times along the first direction and second direction, and then apply, then you have only rectangle shaped uh, plate element. So these are uh, useful function when you uh, create lots of plate element. Okay. Uh, so if you uh, go to the slide, I'll quickly uh, pass all the description or other description. Here we have some uh, various option. Uh, let's say if you when you use auto match function and um, by uh, checking off or checking on the option, it shows a diff different performance. So if you check off mesh uh, in a domain, um, 
when you check off, then uh, you skip um, meshing uh, inside of a certain area. If you check on, you generate um, all the plate elements uh, in, in the old area. And here we have also um, different option. So when we have, uh, let's say, element or node, whether to consider the node or element when we uh, generate the mesh. We can also consider uh, node sharing when we have multiple area to generate mesh uh, with using the automatic function multiple time. So the nodes should be sharing and then sometimes um, it is not. So, so that's why we have this function includes boundary connectivity. So you can uh, try out um, as we, as I mentioned, as we have undo button, you can uh, follow the same step uh, with having, with trying a different option. That's how we can learn by the civil. Okay, I'll back to by the civil. Also, we have um, another uh, option function, uh, which is uh, reset function. So on the struct menu, we have uh, various reset function to generate the bridge model automatically. We have still composite, pre-stress composite. I'll show you uh, after deleting all this node. Okay. So let's say if you want to build up a cable state bridge very quickly, then you can uh, open, open the cable state bridge wizard, input a certain parameter, then click OK, then you have cable state cave state bridge model, you can modify um, if you don't like it. You can uh, additionally create more elements to here. And also we have, um, I'll show you uh, RC slab bridge wizard after inputting certain uh, dimensions of the bridge and then click OK. Then you have a slab bridge with having uh, plate elements. Also, you can uh, modify the material and section. And also, I'll undo the wizard and I'll show you I should frame box uh, wizard as well. It can be a frame type. This is three uh, dimensional uh, model. And also, it can be uh, 2D type. If you click on two uh, dimensional, then you will create only the plane element for the plane. Okay, um, there are a bunch of uh, webinar we have recorded in on uh, YouTube. You can search uh, Midas and Cave State or Midas uh, State Composite or Midas Epsian Bridge. Uh, this is for Balanced Cantilever Bridge. Uh, you can watch the YouTube or you can contact us, then we can send you uh, the proper um, technical material or you can visit our website. Okay. And also, um, so for today, uh, I will show you how to use this base structure window, base structure a function. So you can use base structure and beam. Then here we type like a distance and the number of copies like this. I want to, let's say, uh, with uh, two meters each, we have five span, then type the distance here and click on add. You will generate a node and assign the material and section and go to uh, insert and click apply. Then we have a beam here, okay? If you don't like it, uh, you can undo here and input after the let O, let's say I'll input a hand span with uh, three meters each and click generate the node again and then um, generate the beam uh, with 
on that different position as well. Let's say 1 comma 1, and it will generate the theme element like this. And if you uh, rotate uh, the bat angle, let's try again what happens, then it will rotate the beam as well. Okay. Uh, after generating the beam uh, wizard, uh, some people like to translate the beam to generate grid list model. And or we can use uh, this frame wizard. Let's say uh, one meter distance, I'll repeat uh, five times along the axis and two meters, three times for uh, jet axis. And then go to our uh, next step. I'll generate the frame for all the nodes and I'll assign the material and section. And I'll insert it to uh, the original point. Then click apply. Then it will generate the frame um, on XG apply. This is not we want for bridge normally. Then you can undo it and try some angle um, under the rotation menu. Then it will rotate uh, the angle. So if you don't like it, you can type 90 degree uh, on the alpha. Let's see what it happens. Then you create like this. Um, if we uh, input this frame on the opposite direction, we can undo and input less input minus 90 degree. Then there you go. Um, and uh, it shows um, not right because I want all the elements to uh, be uh, I shaped a uh, gada. Then we can go to um, this element table. We can see here the beta angle shows a minus 90 degree. We can change it to zero degree and copy this cell, uh, pressing Control C and drag all other cells and press Control V. Then back to model view. Now it shows right. Okay, this is how to uh, utilize a frame a wizard. You can try out a arch wizard and column wizard and plate elements, plate uh, wizard and shell wizard as well. You can make uh, various types of uh, structure using this wizard.